Many Americans consider their pets to be part of the family. For some people, pets are more precious than some family members. From fancy clothes to gourmet grub, nothing is too good for these domesticated animals. So in this pet-obsessed culture, perhaps it's no surprise that estate planning has gone to the dogs, as Ryan Owens reports. You see? All right. All right. Let the camera stay. Stay. Who's the coolest dogs? The for coolest? these two, the future's so bright, they have to wear doggles. Yes, those are goggles designed especially for dogs who cannot resist hanging their heads out of the car window. Wait, there's more. Trexter, go to bed. Go to bed. At go bedtime, bed. Trexter, the German Shepherd, has his own matching twin bed. Roxton, the Golden Retriever, still sleeps with mom and dad. Oh, they're the best. No college, no college fun. Yep. Unconditional love <laughs> and laughter all the time. Go give it to daddy. Go give it to daddy. It's been like this almost since the Long Island New York couple met. Roxton had a key role in their wedding. He was our ring bearer. He wore a little tuxedo. How was that? That was That's awesome. Great. That was awesome. I spent more time getting him ready than myself. <laughs> How many people think you guys are uh, <laughs> over the cliff? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Most of our friends. Friends and family think <laughs> we're a little crazy. Yep. <laughs> Everybody knows I don't cook, and Trex has a special diet. Mommy loves you. And just to be clear, you do not cook for yourself or your husband. Correct. Just for the dog. Correct. The takeout places <laughs> in this area do very well. <laughs> and so will Roxton and Trexter. I told you their future was bright. Listen to this. If anything happens to Doug and Diane, because they don't have children, at least the two-legged kind, this house will go to the dogs. God forbid anything ever happened to Doug and myself. I, these guys are so important to us. I don't, I, I don't want any, I want them to be cared for in the manner in which they're accustomed to. <laughs> and that means what, literally? That they would keep the house? Yes. To ensure that, they visited their attorney, planning to write their wishes into their will. One of the first things we said is, okay, we would like to leave our house to our dogs. And he said, stop right there. <laughs> I have someone you need to meet. <laughs> it's like a couture dress, you know. It's like going to Armani and saying, make this special for me. That someone was Rachel Hirschfeld, a New York attorney who specializes in pet trusts. The older pets get, the more they need you. Whereas children, they just, hey, I'm out of here. You know, they, they don't need that same kind of care. Hirschfeld says mentioning your pet in your will just isn't enough. You can't leave instructions in a will. Instructions in a will are invisible ink. The purpose of a will is just to disperse, and pets are property. So she encourages her clients to draw up a separate pet trust. Diane and Doug did, naming Diane's sister as the dog's guardian. Basically, the house would be sold, and that money would be put in a trust for the dogs. They, they need toys. They need their medicine. They need their, you know, food. These guys get a new toy every month, you know. We want to make sure that that is all spelled out. We know to take great care of them, and we want to give her the means to do so. It's part of a movement to give animals, pets, the right to inherit money and property. In some sense, it started with hotel heiress and notorious rich, well, you know, Leona Helmsley. She left her Maltese named Trouble $12 million. I think Leona Helmsley really brought quite a bit of awareness. People think, Leona Helmsley, oh wow, look what she did for her dog, and some people might even find it extreme. I can understand that, although I have clients who have done even more. Helmsley did not have a specific pet trust, and her death set off a scramble for the millions she left for Trouble. Hirschfeld says pet owners should learn a lesson from Leona. The average person leaves $25,000. Okay, I definitely was going to leave more than that. Okay. Deborah Minchef is another one of Hirschfeld's clients. She calls her Maltese cookie a special needs dog. A friend of mine says you always get the dog you're supposed to get. And I actually think that that is right, that Cookie and I were meant to be together because I'm the kind of person who can put in, and I'm willing to put in the time it takes to take care of her. You can also add as many more as you want. I mean, I have 15 guardians for my dog. You know, what are you going to do? Cookie drinks only bottled water. Hey, Cookie girl, are you thirsty? Is on a strict diet, 
Excellent taste. Even her treats are organic green beans and the occasional apple spooned out just the right size. Sit. Good girl. Cookie's vet says she has inflammatory bowel disease, so she's on plenty of medicine. She gets Metamucil mixed with her food. Pedialyte squirted into her mouth when she's too weak to eat. If you had a child and your child had a special need, you wouldn't stop loving that child. You would take care of that child to the very best of your ability, and it's no different with a dog. And, uh, I mean, Cookie gives back as much as I give to her, so I'm very happy to give her and make sure that she is provided for in the right way. You want to make sure that everything that you love to do for Cookie yeah. is going to be continued. A way to make sure man's best friend is taken care of, even after man is long gone. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm Ryan Owens for Nightline in Massapequa, New York. For some, it really is a dog's world. Thanks to Ryan Owens for that. And when we come back, a prince turns 60, but will he ever be king?